To say that all living organisms are composed of cells is an example of a theory, and this theory was first put forward by a biologist called Robert Hooke, along with other biologists in the 17th century. They examined plant tissue under a microscope and found that the plants were composed of cells. By the 19th century, it was also possible to observe animal cells under the microscope. This provided further evidence for the theory that all living organisms are composed of cells. Based on a theory, scientists can use deductive reasoning to make predictions. So if the theory is that all living organisms are composed of cells, then a prediction can be made that for any newly discovered organism, it will be composed of one or more cells. And indeed, we do find some living organisms that are unicellular, composed of one cell, for example, bacteria or prokaryotic cells. But larger organisms tend to be multicellular. In addition to saying that all living organisms are composed of cells, there are two other parts to the cell theory worth mentioning. One is that cells are the smallest unit of life. That is to say that cells are the smallest thing that meet the criteria to be considered living. Last point to complete the cell theory is that all cells come from pre-existing cells.